Okay, Love Child number four, um, Big Brother of Love Child one, two, and three. Uh, sour beer, if you're not familiar with it. To me, Love Child number four is just a little more assertive than Love Child number three was. It's a little more in your face, it's a little more sour, a little more funky, and you, you really can smell it. Um, actually, on the back of the label, of the bottle, on the back label, there's gauges that tell you what to expect. Well, what to expect when you buy the beer. If you age it, these gauges can really change. But making a sour beer is all about blending. It's about trying to find the right components to come up with something that's better than the individual components. It's like making the perfect marriage of all these different parts that we have in the brewery. There's beer aged in old whiskey barrels or whiskey barrels that we've used for BBQ and for Ryan Rye. Uh, there's some other beers aging in wine barrels. There's part made in the brew house, part aged in stainless steel. So we have all these components and then you have to come up with what we think is just better than the individual components. Um, it's hard work. It's hard work tasting all these different barrels and coming up with what we think is just superior, but we, that's what we do and that's what we love to do. So here's to sour beer, here's to love child. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. There's nothing like drinking love child at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs>